Wow, it looks like Rex still holds that grudge against Biowolf. After all the shredding and smackdowns they've been through, it's not like we're keeping track or anything. This one looks pretty good. <laughs> This week is the season 2 premiere of Generator X, and it's time we take things into high gear. After Van Clyce is assault against Providence headquarters, Rex and Bobo stay with Noah until they finish the repairs. Also, Agent 6 stays on the jet. But Rex is given a sudden call to action, which means you know they've got to join along. It turns out Van Clyce is after a power cord that can boost Abyssus for a decade, and just as Rex and co. catch him in the act, Van Clyce turns Noah into a dog like Evo. Now Rex must capture the rampaging Noah before Van Clyce's effects are permanent. Throughout this episode, we also focus on a subplot where Rex attempts to create more Omega builds, and the payoff is worth it when we see Rex build the Fun Chucks. While the plot is pretty basic, the episode relies more on the characters to tell the story. For starters, we learn that Noah is an honor student who is efficient, hardworking, and takes everything seriously. And I like the immediate shift in his personality from when he becomes an Evo. Pretty much shows that even the hard workers have a wild side. Another example is the back and forth banter with Rex and Van Clyce, especially when Rex criticizes over how Van Clyce always uses Breach to escape, only to reveal he was using Noah as a distraction to attain the power core, then mocks him soon after. There's also an old lady who believes in Evo is moving her glasses at night, and I thought that was a pretty funny segment. Not only does the writing receive a perfect score, but so does the music. Rex receives multiple themes, and this also applies to his new Omega builds, and it really does a great job at hyping you up for the action. Speaking of action, Rex wastes no time to use every build he's used so far, except the Slam Cannon, when he's facing off against the pack, Van Kleiss, and even when he's chasing Noah throughout the city. This made for some interesting counters as he immediately sweeps through the pack and handles his problems at a faster pace, but it doesn't stop there as the fun chucks looked incredible in battle with this spinning animation. I feel the animation is very fluid this week actually, and I even noticed this when Noah destroys the utility pole where the wires are still moving. We appreciate the effort, and that includes the artwork too. Not often does animation expand on their background designs, and when they do, I always feel there's a payoff, and that's how I feel when we revisit the docking bay from episode 13 and see more areas surrounding it. Don't worry, we'll have more background art soon. The only moment that feels off, however, is the second time we zoom into Rex's eye for the blueprint scene. The zooming shot feels forced when I would rather they animate a new segment like they did early in the episode. Overall, the season premiere has a lot to enjoy and I can't wait to see what Van Class is up to next. There's a lot more Omega builds to come, so I have a pretty good feeling we're in for a wild ride. But we do have some fillers to get through first, so things may get a little bumpy. But eh, we've come this far, we're in it for the long haul now. We give Rampage a 10 out of 10. Well, guess it's back to quadratic equations. I have no idea what those are. 